Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing a comparison. This is going to be another one of those Intel versus AMD for gaming. Uh, we're, today we're going to be doing a comparison for Final Fantasy XIV, uh, Realm Reborn. It's the new, it's probably going to be the newest big name MMO that comes out this year. It's already in, in closed beta. I think you have to get invited. You can apply. Um, but we'll be doing a test on that. And just to show the the baseline configuration I'm using here for these two. Uh, on the left we have an Intel Core i5 3570K. It's probably still one of the most popular CPUs out there. Uh, and on the right we've got the AMD FX8350. This is my favorite AMD CPU. It's currently the most powerful AMD CPU you can get right now. It's the Vishera 8 core. So this one runs at uh, 4.0 gigahertz and then it has it has turbo core so it goes up to 4.1 gigahertz at full load turbo and then at half load turbo it actually goes up to 4.2 gigahertz so what I've done is I've actually since both of these are unlocked CPUs I've gone I've overclocked both of them uh, by 500 megahertz over their full turbo speed so what that means is for AMD I've taken it from 4.1 gigahertz I've added 500 megahertz to that full load turbo speed, so it's 4.6 gigahertz. And all, it's very easy to do. AMD can tolerate quite a bit of voltage, so all you have to do is increase the voltage offset by just one, the minimum. This is a, I'll show you the main board that I'm using. This is an Asus Crosshair 5 Formula Z motherboard. This is the best motherboard you can get for an AMD based gaming system. Uh, we've got 16 gigs of memory running at 1866. Megahertz. This is AMD supported speed. I ha it's actually Radeon memory that's in there, uh, running at CL9. So you can see the timing is there. The SPD info. It's two. It's two DIMMs of eight gig, eight gigabytes each. So that's 16 gigs on two DIMMs at 1866. TDP 125 watt. I think most people that are probably going to be watching this video already know all the specs on the CPU. That's an eight core. If we were to open, let me open Task Manager real quick. You can see that there's eight. Windows sees it as eight threads capable. By comparison, the Intel Core i5, it's priced similarly. It's slightly more expensive, um, and it's a quad-core Intel without hyper-threading. Now, the thing about Intel, most people say, oh, it's 3.4 gigahertz. Well, that's not true because of Intel Turbo Boost, what you will find is that the CPU actually turbos up to 3.8 gigahertz. So to make this a fair comparison, I've taken 3.8 and I've added 500 megahertz to that to get 4.3 gigahertz. So the CPU will be running at 4.3 gigahertz up against the AMD running at 4.6 gigahertz. I think that's a fair comparison. And it's pretty, um, I think I would say that's a pretty good overclock for both. Uh, my, I'll let you know, my AMD, or not not my AMD, my Intel Core i5 is actually a pretty lousy chip in terms of the binning. So it requires a lot of voltage to get to 4.4, 4.5. I have to do 1.4 volts to get 4.5 uh, stable. So I actually am overclocking it to, that's why I chose 500 megahertz basically. Because uh, it's an easy overclock for both of them. Um, what else here? This is just going to be a MMO benchmark. I'll do another video later. I'll probably be Planet Side 2 just because I'll, I've gotten a lot of requests to do that game. So I'll be doing Planet Side 2, probably a future video. Um, the graphics card for both of these systems is a Radeon uh, HD 7850. That's a graphics card in both of them. It's running at the same. It's a PCI 3.0 capable. But because the AMD motherboard doesn't support PCI 3, the AMD is running at PCI 2.0 uh, x16, whereas the Intel is running at PCI 3.0 x16. But from my testing, it doesn't really make much of a difference. For the settings here, I'm just going to go over the settings real quick. We're going to be doing this test at 1080p resolution. We're going to go for a real world test. and People are probably going to be posting in the comments, oh, it's a GPU bottleneck. Uh, so what I'll do to minimize the effects of the GPU, I'm only going to run this test at 1080p, but on medium settings. 
on medium graphic settings. So that should allow the CPU to, uh, well, that should allow the CPU to show its strengths in this test. So both of them are on medium at 1080p. So let me see if I can start this at the same time here. Okay. These are 1920 by 1200 monitors. These are 22 inch uh, Lenovo Think Visions. So that's why you can still see the taskbar. So while that's going, uh, let me bring up the CPU Z again. You can see that it's running at 4.6 gigahertz, and the Intel's running at 4.3 gigahertz. You can see that's quite a bit of voltage on that Intel. 1.37 volts. I left it on auto, so I could probably uh, reduce it a bit. AMD is at 1.39 volts max, but that's okay. AMD can tolerate quite a bit more voltage. Um, oh, the Intel is running at 1600 megahertz speed on the RAM. That's because that's the supported speed for the Intel, and there are only 8 gigs of RAM in here versus the 16 gigs on 1866, but that shouldn't RAM won't really make much of a difference. I gave AMD their 1866 because it's officially supported and Intel only officially supports 1600 so Intel will only run at 1600 for this test. Not to mention the RAM that's actually in the Intel system is only 1600 capable. Okay so we can see the score. Intel's at about 5400, AMD's at 47, 7, just let it run to completion. But it looks entirely playable, right? You can't, the frame rate looks smooth all the time. At the end of this, it'll give us a score report. It'll tell us what the average frame rate was. And again, just to show the settings on the, or what the CPU is running at, AMD is running at 4.6, that's 4600 megahertz, and Intel is running at 4.3. So they both, they both gone 500 megahertz above their full load turbo speeds. So Intel's turbo boost default is 3.8, AMD's full load turbo core is 4.1. So this is an overclock test. Guess I should have mentioned that. But on both of them, it looks like regardless of the score, you're going to be able to play this at 1080p and this is really this is on a mid-range graphics card. It would be nice if Planet Side 2 had a benchmark tool to compare. This is going to be kind of 
I don't know how I'm exactly going to do that. I'm trying to think how am I going to... Okay, here come the scores. So, both of them, the score is considered extremely high. Uh, that was on medium. I guess I could turn it up to high and see what I get. But uh, the score for Intel was 9,709. That's 1080p at medium settings. The score for AMD was 8,414 at medium settings. I'm actually quite surprised the Intel scored over 9,000. Uh, I did not expect that. So let's just do a little... See what the average frame rate was. If we go up here... So, this game is kind of like Skyrim. Uh, it's not really optimized for multi-threaded, it looks like. So you can see AMD's average frame rate was about 70, 69.4 frames per second. Intel's was 81.4 frames per second. And that seems consistent with our Guild Wars test, where uh, AMD, Intel scored about 10 to 15 frames per second average higher than AMD is probably because the minimum frame rate was probably higher at some point that's the only thing I can think of because from the test overall from what I could see they looked about the same I couldn't really tell what how different the frame rate was and as you can tell it was over 60 the average is way over 60 on both so it's not really going to be noticeable but yeah that was my comparison for AMD versus Intel Final Fantasy 14 A Realm Reborn Hope you enjoyed the video. This was an overclocked comparison. Uh, as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.